a nice summary in, in, in short words, no? because at the beginning was like, wow, I mean, you are building something new. You are feeling really nervous. Definitely we've had uh, highs and lows. So we started off the season really well at Spa with the front row for race two. Um, that was really cool. But we also had a few lows where we had, um, at Aragon we struggled a little bit in qualifying. I've had a few incidents and I've made a few mistakes myself. Um, so it's just been, uh, a season of highs and lows, for sure. I think the championship overall was really nice. Uh, we started with some experienced drivers, with some uh, junior drivers, rookie drivers. I think uh, the team did a really good job. The drivers helped each other really well. Uh, so I think, uh, yeah, I think we grew as a team into the championship. So from that point of view, uh, we are really happy. It has been a good season for me, especially at the beginning. I didn't knew too much the car, but I arrived to Spa and straight away. I felt super quick. Um, yeah, I miss Motorland, that is one of my favorite tracks, but uh, still, uh, after the summer break, I think we, me, we lack a bit of pace compared to other teams. I think they have found something, but uh, still, I'm really happy to be one round less than the, my rivals and still on the championship uh, fight, so this is for sure good. Obtener un resultado en primer año de Eurocup 3 y bueno, haber conseguido un podium en la primera carrera por las circunstancias que fuera, muy positivo y bueno, muy contento. We did such an amazing job, no? New championship, uh, create a bit in a hurry, um, you know, just trying to, how to say, follow with the same philosophy that we are, you know, having in F4, and having 18 cars, we will close probably the season with 20, over 20 cars. I think we have to be really proud about what we have built. I mean, the season went pretty well. Um, with the team, we worked uh, quite hard be before the season um, to get in a new championship, new tracks for me, um, new cars, so a lot of new stuff. Um, and at the end, yeah, I think we did pretty well. Good consistency, uh, plenty of podiums and, uh, and some wins. So we'll see how, how it ends, but uh, yeah, happy about it. New team, new project. Uh, we are completely new, like the team has nine months old. So obviously we face it bumpy roads in the beginning. And after that, I must say we are very happy at the point we are right now, because we, we had almost all the time four cars on track and we were battling for uh, on the main class for podium sometimes on, on the rookies class, we are always there. So I think the balance is, it's amazing. When we started, I stopped uh, for four months of racing and therefore when I came back of course it was difficult to adapt especially because it was a new car and it's a much heavier car so it requires um, different technique than in Formula 4 so definitely it has started a bit difficult but now I think we're in a very good position fighting for um, top 8s, top 7s and uh, I think that's our real position and should have been from the start of the season if we have uh, done a bit more mileage, but I think it's, it's a positive season. Obstacles like really are not happening because we have been controlling before it happened. No? So already is the past. So um, no, not really a bad moment at all. Tuve un bajón muy grande sin encontrar los motivos. No sé si quizás no me encontraba yo, no me encontraba yo con el coche, el coche solo, no lo sé. Find a little bit away with the car, with the setup, uh, all those things. Uh, I think that was the biggest and the most difficult part in the beginning. Track limits in qualifying. The only real thing that's stopping you from doing even more or even pushing more, it's, it's, it's your, yourself, your own mind or whatever. Uh, for us, uh, it's to get the material on time. 
Uh, it has been uh, very challenging uh, to be able to to run uh, one car from uh, yes, Jerez uh, run. Me, I'm I'm a guy who, who I want to learn quickly and doing quickly the things really good, and that's a thing I want. I wanted to change, like you know, uh, my mistakes. I did a lot of mistakes in Jerez and Estoril, and then like in this first race in Valencia. So. Um, that's my big mistakes in race. Obviously, still there are things that must be adjusted. Uh, a little bit on the regulations, a little bit on the team's side as well. Uh, yeah, how to set up the, the things. Um, about the suppliers, we are, we are still getting used to having a completely new championship and what this represents no? in terms of new car, new staff. So, Honestly, I will not change nothing, just that obviously with more time uh, things will be improved, but this will be a natural process. A lot of race. Uh, I mean, if I can change, I change a lot. A lot of racing that I, I DNF, so a lot, a lot of things. Be better at the start, which was being for me the, the enemy of the season and then maybe quite also being better at race race pace could have been a bit more helpful this year. Intentar hacer cinco pruebas fuera y tres en España. Just try to quality a bit higher, take a bit more risks in some of the qualifyings. Uh, yeah, so that, that's the only thing I can think of. As a team manager and after one year of competition, I would like to share to my team like that we keep going, we keep believing, we keep working and on to the next one. I only had one year in a four and it's my first year in a, in a faster car. Uh, as, yeah, I'm a rookie this year, so it's been a year full of learning. Um, first of all, getting used to the car and then uh, pushing my own limits. So yeah, it's been a, a lot of learning this year. We build something in a way, in a totally different way, except Formula One is building. With the opposition of many people all around the world, I think uh, the people we have been sitting down on the table, uh, fighting all together to make that. We have a lot of a lot of trust in, you know, on the ID that has been taking us some years of developing and I think we are, we are a great team and I'm quite proud of that. When a driver finishes season, obviously you're, you're feeling it's like grateful um, and obviously it's from both parts, you know. Um, I'm always learning from them and I hope they always are learning from us. So I think that's the most important thing, to help them on their career, on their journey. And for us, it's the same. Other things, I have super competitive teammates um, that I can learn a lot from through data, through all the driving, um, managing the tires, etc. So I think it's been a, been a year of learning for me, especially to prepare for next season. Well, definitely every step that I take in any championship, the more you go up to the ladder, the more physically you, you need to get prepared and, and also technically, but, but I'm getting more and more prepared for what's, what's to come up next in the future years. It's been a good year for me in terms of learning. I mean, we got a lot of mileage. Uh, I've learned a couple of new tracks. Uh, I've learned a lot about the car, uh, racecraft, I mean, it's been a really good year in terms of learning, learning for me. In this career, it was like almost in the last race. Uh, it helped me for, for the next category. Uh, I don't know it's FI, if it's FIA or it's GT, but for sure it helped me for next year. I think I've also learned that consistency is very important. I've been very consistent this year. Uh, almost in top five all races. Definitely it's experience uh, gained 
through in many fields, my driving, my defending, my attacking. So obviously going up to the next categories or staying in this one, I would have way more experience to, to work with. Our expectations were quite high with our uh, experienced drivers, uh, but there are also other teams with experienced drivers. So uh, yeah, it, it was a tough season, it's still a difficult season, it's more competitive than we expected. But overall we're quite happy. When you step up categories or things, uh, the first thing you miss is experience and uh, as soon as you reach uh, this is always nice. Sí, creo que al final estamos en vista de todo el mundo y al final aunque creamos que no nos ven, todo el mundo observa y creo que la Eurocup se ha hecho su pequeño sitio donde el día de mañana, posiblemente muy breve, ya le dé guerra a otros campeonatos. Uh, straight away quite a lot of cars uh, on track, uh, a lot of people were in doubt in the beginning of the championship, but I think everybody involved did a really good championship, a really good job to get the championship uh, started. All what the teams invest are, is pretty similar between teams, so I think we are super proud about the championship we have built and uh, we... Is there any special ceremony you do at the end of the season with the team? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, maybe if we get the championship uh, it will be a, good, a cool thing to do. Um, not that I know of, but it would be nice to have a, a nice ceremony after Barcelona. Mm -hmm.